Uh, my name is Ralph Karlström and I work for uh, Dieter Metal, which is a part of the uh, Hergenes Group. I mean, the machine was basically uh, initially developed in uh, 2011 and the uh, aim with the whole machine is to provide precision. So it's a lot of uh, uh, high-end components and high-end solutions in order to uh, provide and small components with high detail accuracy, good surface finish, good tolerances, and that we combine with high productivity at the same time. The smaller the better. And you know there is, there is an industry today existing for making a lot of small components based on powders and that's the metal injection molding industry. And they supply uh, uh, industrial, medical, dental, automotive, aerospace, luxury and so on. And there is a need to, to offer more uh, 3D capability for making small components and uh, we have done a lot of uh, prototyping since we started four years ago and some of these prototyping has resulted in volume production and we have uh, 12 different uh, geometries in production today and, and the common factor is that have never been made before so currently we offer different type of stainless steel and we have launched uh, titanium 64 we work on uh, Inconel, so I mean high temperature resistant materials. Uh, we will, would like to offer copper, tool steels and so on. So in principle all types of material that is available in metal injection molding and that's a wide range of materials. One of our um, uh, customer then where we just installed the machine in, in uh, during this summer is the French uh, Industrial Institute and they have uh, more than 10 years experience in, with uh, selective laser melting in-house and they've done a lot of uh, benchmarking before they decided that they want to go ahead and have a machine and they have uh, a, a network of uh, companies connected to them and the aim is to promote new technology on the French market. Another very interesting one is uh, a Swiss uh, watch manufacturer that started as a Kickstarter project uh, in the end of last year where we are making the um, dials or the faces uh, to the watch. They wanted to, um, to offer some special type of design that they only could uh, get using 3D printing technology. And so the combination then of, of the capability and the, the, sort of, and the surface finish and so on, it, it was what they were looking for. The first important thing why Hergen has went into this is that there is a lot of synergies with the traditional uh, powder metallurgy activities that Hergenes has. We have uh, a lot of powder know-how. We know a lot of, uh, about uh, binders because we supplied uh, bonded mixes since the mid-80s and we know sintering. So, so it was a sort of a, a natural step to take and it really has helped us to develop this uh, technology even further. People have congratulated us that we are now offering the machines to the market and after Using them for four years ourselves, I think we are um, uh, very confident that we can offer a machine that is uh, very reliable and has good repeatability.